Boy, Yondo, this sure is a creepy neighborhood. Maybe we should have checked those coordinates after all. I already did, Victor. This is the correct time and place. Where to now? That castle looks way cool. Let's go there. That village looks a lot more inviting to me. What do you think, Archivist? Follow me, my friends. Everything you desire awaits within these walls. <laughs> That creep sure sounded familiar. Yeah, he smelled familiar too, though I can't quite place him. There's something about that crypt that I seem to recognize too. Let's check the database. Okay, I think that tells us everything we'll ever want to know about this place. Let's get out of here! I'm with you, pal. Good choice, Archivist. Maybe we can get something to eat. I'm starved. That's typical. Why didn't you have a snack before we left? This mission could take a while, you know. Then let's get on with it. But remember, the folks who live here are probably very suspicious of strangers. Who, us? We're not strange. Speak for yourself, you weirdo. See, they seem friendly. I mean, they're not throwing rocks or anything. Maybe we should find the entrance to the nearest exit. I cannot imagine what brings you here, my sons, but mark my words well, this is a cursed place. I beg of you, take these gifts, but use them wisely. I must go now. It is unwise to remain outdoors on a night such as this. Ciao. That was nice of him, wasn't it, Yondo? I wonder if those things really do work. Something tells me we're gonna find out the hard way. <laughs> Hi! Some folks in this town aren't really very friendly. Excuse me, Constable, but my canine companion and I were wondering where... Well, now, isn't that an amazing coincidence? I was just wondering where you were going myself. Maybe we'd better... Quiet, Yondo. I'll handle this. You're a ventriloquist, too, are you? All right, let's see your papers. Hey, I haven't needed papers since I was a puppy. All right, you blatherskite. That's the limit. No papers. Dressed in a manner likely to cause a breach of the peace and mouth enough to a police officer. It's straight into the pokey with you, my lad. Sorry about this, Victor. Next time I'll keep my trap shut. I promise. Ah, forget it, Yondo. It wasn't your fault, but we gotta get out of this fix. Right on. So, what's your plan of attack? My plan of attack? I thought you were the brains of this operation. One thing's for sure, we don't have many friends in this town. All right, you. Hop to it! I can't imagine why anyone would vouch for the likes of you. But a fine foreign lady has just paid your bail. Let this be a warning to you. And never darken my doorstep again! 
Understand? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. I mean, whatever you say, sir. You guys can thank me for getting you out of jail. Oh, boy, let's check out this castle. Oh, swell. Wow, check out this pile of rocks, Yondo. You could make a major condo complex out of those things. Condominiums haven't even been invented yet. Could we stick to our mission, please? Nice bridge for diving off of, isn't it, Yondo? You want to go for a swim? Thanks, but no. There might be something nasty underneath it. You always look before you leap, don't you, pal? Yeah, that's why I'm still here. Welcome to Castle Perilous, home of Count Sixamar. Enter freely and of your own will. See how friendly folks are, Yondo? This'll be a snap. Wow, look at this place. I wonder who lives here. Something smells edible in here. To you, maybe. To me, it just smells like something died. Hey, don't say that too loud. <gasps> Be careful of that knife. Ow! Hey, where did you come from, lady? From your worst nightmares, fool. <laughs> Uh-oh. I guess I should be real scared, huh? Yondo! Yondo, I can't breathe! What'll I do? As much as I hate physical violence, I think now is the appropriate time. But I can't hit a lady! That thing is no lady! It's not even human! How dare you strike the Countess Carmilla? I'll feast on your blood. Phew, thanks pal. Well, I guess she bit off a little more than she could chew. Not quite. I think that crosshair I projected at her did the trick. Those legends about vampires' fear of crosses must be true. I say, beware the trophy room. Don't lose your heads. <laughs> After you, Victor. No, please. You first. Oh, no. I insist. <laughs> okay, scaredy cat. I really resent that, Victor. Beware the zombies. They're hungry tonight. Hello? Is anybody here? Perhaps if we moved a little closer? What? Huh? Oh, it's just our reflection. I thought it was some purple people eater or something. Hey, I wonder what's in those drawers? Victor, it's really rude to dig around in someone's drawers, you know. Okay, so we'll do it quietly, all right? We should grab some of these things. They could prove useful later on. But... Wow, look at these cool comics. And they're in mint condition, too. Yeah, and they're not even bagged. Uh-oh. 
there's someone sleeping in that bed. I doubt if it's Little Red Riding Hood. Uh-oh! That looks like the basement door to me! I don't even go into my own basement! Well, this isn't my idea of a good time either, Yondo. But as soon as we find that coffin, we're out of here, I promise! After Hey, check out that awesome organ down there! Oh, please! You know how sensitive my hearing is! Be aware of the night, brave dawn! Is there a light switch around here someplace? Great! One of those coffins must be Dracula's! Not so fast, pal! If we choose the wrong one, we'll have wasted the mission! Forgive my appearance, but I was once like you. The key to your salvation lies within the castle walls. Farewell. This must be the way, Yondo. Let's open it. A secret passageway! I knew it! I've got a nose for this kind of thing, you know. I've noticed. <laughs> the nose, that is. Aha! A sinister-looking tower! And I see a way in. Excellent! Can you see a way out? Ah, come on, you big sissy. <sighs> Another warning. Let's see. Oh, the fine print says, oh, Beware, there are more than just bats in this belfry. Oh, come on, Victor. Who'd put a coffin in a drafty old tower? Let's go elsewhere, okay? The only place we're going is onward and upward, you cringing canine. Hey, if I'm a cringing canine, then you're a careless clod. Am not! R2? Am not! R2? Not! Two? Aw, oh, come on, Yondo, knock it off! Okay. Am not. <laughs> Just kidding! I hate bats! And skeletons, and snakes, and sharks, and dinosaurs.
Man, is that thing nasty looking or what? Look out, Victor! It's going to attack! Hey, Yondo, nice grab! That amulet could be useful. Let's put it in our backpack quick. It tastes awful. Man, this dude's almost as striking as I am. Look at those eyes. They're... they're hypnotic. Well, I don't know. It's the teeth I notice. <gasps> Funny how the eyes seem to follow you around the room, isn't it? The eyes. 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 Ouch! What's the big idea, Yondo? Sneaking up and biting my butt, you dirty dog? Hey, how did we get out of here anyhow? I'm sorry, Victor, but you were entranced by that sinister portrait. It was a last resort, I assure you. Oh, please. Is there a light switch around? Gee, this must be the portrait gallery. Looks more like a rogues gallery to me. What's on that pedestal? It's called the book, Victor. Oh yeah, right. That's what they used to store information on in the olden days, before the invention of CD-ROM. It's a beauty. Oh, look at the craftsmanship of the binding, the intricacy of the detail on the cover. It's... it's... It's hypnotic. I am the spirit of Bern von Dolignan of Graz. I came to a tragic end by mine own hand on Walpurgisnacht in the year 1802. I was wealthy and powerful, and my castle overlooked a happy and bountiful valley. But my greatest joy was the love of my beautiful wife, Carmilla. A love that turned into unspeakable horror. My lovely Camilla, I discovered, was actually a fiend from hell, a vampire. I learned the awful truth on our wedding night. I tried to deny it, but night after night she would sneak out of the castle to slake her awful dust for blood. She preyed on the villagers until they finally cornered her one terrible night. They... they drove a stake through my dear Camilla's heart. Then the mob came for me. I could bear it no more, and in utter despair, I shot myself. Leave this unholy place now, I beg of you. Otherwise, this castle's horrific legacy may consume you too. Farewell. That was a truly tragic tale. Victor. I've got a bad feeling that he's... None other than Ram Axis! Your greatest nemesis! Did you really think I was merely some ghost in the machine? An annoying glitch? Or a bothersome virus that you could just ignore? <laughs> Back off, Axis, or I'll ram your head through that wall! <laughs> uh.
Uh, I know what you two stupid heroes are looking for. And if you think you can beat me to the prize, you are sadly mistaken. Once I have that coffin in my possession, I shall turn its nightmare powers on the two of you. I shall crush you like bugs, then dump you into the trash where you belong. For I am your worst fears come to life. I am the darkness at the foot of the staircase. I am the ever-present, indestructible, and utterly evil Ram Axis. Yeah, right. Step outside, you pencil neck geek, and we'll see how tough you really are. Hey, Yondo, you want a piece of this? Yondo? Uh, Yondo? <laughs> Come on out of there, you mutt. I chased the big scary man away. Are you sure he's gone? <laughs> Don't you remember what happened the last time we tangled with that guy? Of course I do. I'll admit it was rather unpleasant, but we did finally escape from his fiendish clutches. I never want to go through that again, Victor. Me neither, pal. Boy, that's a face that could stop even a digital clock. I wonder what her story is. I'll bet the background tells the tale. Hey, how'd we get out here? Look, Victor, that headstone. She was related to that malevolent monster, Dracula. Well, is that her fault? Maybe Drac was just, uh, you know, the black sheep of the family. More like a wolf in black sheep's clothing. Oh, Yondo, don't be so negative. Nice sepulcher. I suppose, if you like that kind of thing. Boy, that's a... Hey, how'd we get... After you? Is there a light? This smells worse than a toxic waste dump. Ugh, it tastes worse, too. After you. Is there a Where the 
Well, well, what have we here? Two lost souls in search of what? I think I can guess. <laughs> I'm surprised you've survived this long. But your luck can't last forever, I'm afraid. <laughs> Perhaps I can help you. But you must trust me and surrender to me a token you have collected recently. You do trust me, don't you? <laughs> oh, goody. Now, listen very carefully. If mirrored by wisdom, thy valor shall be. Thy foe will be surely revealed to thee. Fare ye well, my fine, fearless fools. <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah. Nice try, but not correct. Way to do it. Oh, yeah.
What's that thing? What? That column of smoke in the road up ahead. It's just a man. Why is he standing there? Way to do it. Congratulations! My will is yours now. My thoughts are yours also, just as if you were dead. My hypnotic power will be your life force. I have returned to avenge myself on those who buried my slumbering soul in the awful depths death and stole my power that night. Obey the gleam of this brooch. Obey it. Obey it. Yes, sir. You will call me master. Arise. Now you are also immortal. I made you like us. Rockin'! Oh, yeah. Way to do it.
I feel really yucky. Like someone scrambled my brains and served them with a side of greasy bacon. Yeah, I hate it when that happens. But trust you to think about food at a time like this. I've got a seriously bad feeling about this room. I know what you mean. Ah, here's a light switch. Yeah! Gross me out or what? Boy, howdy, what an ugly bunch! No wonder somebody chopped off their heads. Good evening, gentlemen. I'm Lord Rutherford. Would you like a glass of wine? Uh, thanks, but no, your lordship. What nice canines you have. Uh, thank you, my furry friend. Of course we vampires need... But wait, aren't you vampires too? Yeah, sure we are. Check out these fangs. I'm not quite convinced. Perhaps a little quiz is in order. Hmm? And if you don't answer correctly, well, you chaps may have noticed that I have just enough room for two additions to my little trophy collection. Hmm? Go ahead, Victor. Pardon the pun. What's the matter, Yondo? You find it a little stuffy in here? Jolly well done, old chaps. Sorry I was suspicious at first about your credentials, but we can't have just anyone wandering about the castle, can we? Uh -huh. Here's something that will make your stay a trifle easier, yes? Well, jerry -o, pip pip and all that rot. Whoa. That spiral staircase made me dizzy. Say, this must be the lab. Right. Let's see what's on the slab. Say what? Forget it. Talk about primitive hardware. What kind of messy mad scientist must work in this dump? True, but some of these items may come in handy later. We'd better choose carefully. There's only so much room in the backpack. We don't want to lug around anything that's redundant. Or unnecessary, either. Please, Victor. I need some fresh air. Let's go out this way. Oh, all right. The moon sure is beautiful tonight. Have you ever been there? Sure. Remember on the way to Mars that time? Let's see. That passageway must lead into the cellar. Down we go! Isn't that just swell? Who knows what's lurking behind those doors? I'm trying not to think about it too much. We've come this far. Pick a number from one to five and I'll yank the door open. <clears throat> Boy, is this door ever stuck! Let's sneak a peek through the keyhole.
Hey, this is a great place for spelunking. Watch your mouth, Victor. Very funny. Spelunking is the sport of cave exploration. Oh, yeah. I knew that. Hey, that looks like an exit up ahead. Yondo, stay back. I think it's him. Almost sunrise already? Time does fly when you're having a, a bloody good time. <laughs> Off to bed. Did you hear that? He must have just gotten into his coffin. Get the hammer and stake ready. Don't worry. I've still got the stake in the backpack. Ah, nuts. Which one is Dracula's? We can only take one back, so we'll have to try them all. Victor! It's... it's the Grim Reaper! Wrong as usual, you mangy moron! It is I, Ram Axis! Do you really think you can stand between me and that priceless coffin? You bet your butt I do, Axis. Eat this! Was that your best shot, you puny puddle of that barf? All right, you super creep. Let's see how tough you really are. <clears throat> Ah! 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 Now you freak, take that. <laughs> You'll never know where or when, but I'll be back better, better. Wow, I was really worried there for a minute. You and me both, buddy. But his overbearing overconfidence was his ultimate undoing. Well, that's easy for you to say. I'm gonna be sick. Really? Some cure for heartburn. Bingo! What, is it twilight already? Only for you, Count. Now, Victor, now! That was just awful, Yondo. You did what had to be done. You are correct, my friends. And I thank you both for freeing me from this horrifying curse. I shall finally rest in peace, unburdened by morbid passions and sanguine dreams. Farewell! For the sake of humanity, ensure that no one disturbs my eternal sleep. Nice work, Victor. Hey, I couldn't have done it without you, Yondo. Hey, come on, cut it out, you big slob! You know, Yondo, it was Dracula's cold that led me straight to him. His cold? What do you mean? I heard him coughing. Get it? <laughs> oh. Feel free to relive this adventure whenever you please. Keep a sharp eye out for clues and pathways you may have overlooked the first time. We will need your help again soon, as Victor and Yondo journey into the past in search of the last dinosaur egg.
Greetings, Archivist. This is the Curator speaking. Welcome back to the magnificent Museum of Fantastic Phenomena. Our continuing artifact retrieval program has been very successful. Thanks to your efforts. The Gallery of the Supernatural, the Gallery of Strange Science, and the Gallery of Alien Oddities have all benefited greatly from our expeditions in time and space. But even more important than the fascinating objects we have added to our collection is the knowledge of the world that we have been able to piece together from our forays into the past. Your next assignment is to retrieve the Vampire's Coffin, home to one of the most awful creatures that ever lived, or rather, didn't live. I am referring, of course, to Count Dracula, Dark Lord of the Undead who terrorized Central Europe during the late 19th century. It is even rumored that this monster still exists in some form today. It is therefore of the utmost importance that you are successful in your mission. If this coffin, with its unknown mystical powers, were to fall into the wrong hands, I shudder to think of the consequences. Your field agents for this difficult mission will be the valiant Victor Vector and Yondo, the digital dog. I am confident that with their help you will succeed. But beware, our archenemy, Ram Axis, will certainly want to get his evil claws on the coffin himself. And beware too of the vampires and other creatures of the night you may encounter. It is not known how their unholy powers may affect you. Pay close attention to everything you see and hear, and watch for subtle clues. You, Victor, and Yondo will need all your skill, and a little luck, to prevail against the forces of darkness. To summon Victor and Yondo, please click here. Hi, Archivist! Thanks for calling Yondo and me up for this scary mission. I promise we'll do our very best to complete our task. Right, Yondo? Oh. You bet, Victor. Let's check the database for some information on the time-space coordinates we're headed for. Nah, why bother? The curator has already downloaded all that boring stuff into your snazzy caller communicator. We can check it out later. I'm ready to blast into the past, Yondo. Boy, Yondo, this sure is a creepy neighborhood. Maybe we should have checked those coordinates after all. I already did, Victor. This is the correct time and place. Where to now? That castle looks way cool. Let's go there. That village looks a lot more inviting to me. What do you think, Archivist? <laughs> Follow me, my friends. Everything you desire. Hello. The screen around user level. There are two levels of adventure. The yellow button is for beginners, while the orange button is for masters. If you're a master, watch out for the spiders and rats. Navigation. These buttons guide Victor Vector and Yondo as they explore. Click the arrows to move. A special arrow zooms you out of close-up views. Explore rooms by clicking things in them. Click fireplaces, suits of armor, windows, people, beds, doors, or whatever. Go crazy! Backpack. Clicking here reveals a hidden list of the items you've collected in your adventure. Pick up things you might need by clicking on them. For example, a weapon would help in a fight. Be careful, though. 
You don't want to waste space in Yondo's backpack. Click the backpack button again to hide the list. Energy level. Click the red button to check your energy level. Boost energy by picking up things like swords and treasures and by clicking on the creepy bats and spiders. Take care though. Clicking the wrong things may drain energy. Energy level. Click the red button to check your adventure management. Save your adventure by clicking this button. A secret control panel is revealed. Click save to save your game. Open to open a previous game or quit to quit the adventure. Help. Get help at any time by clicking the help button. You'll be teleported here.